Today's story is called The Butterfly by Anna Milburn and Kathy Shimon. At the end of the garden, there is a little stripy caterpillar. What do you think it's been doing all day? First, it ate up the leaf it was sitting on. And when that was gone, it started munching on the next one. There are lots of other hungry caterpillars too. There's a teeny tiny green one, a very chubby yellow one, and a soft white hairy one, and even a big fat fuzzy one. And all of them are eating as fast as they can. The little stripy caterpillar is not so little now, but he still keeps on eating. Munch, munch, munch. Soon it's even too fat for its skin, so it shrugs it off like it's just an old coat. And then it eats some more. One day the caterpillar stops eating. Perhaps it's full. It curls up under a leaf and falls fast asleep. Kind of looks like the letter J. Slowly its skin becomes a shiny case. It hangs there quietly, not moving at all. All at once, it starts to wiggle. It wiggles and wiggles until the case splits open and it inches its way out. The stripy caterpillar has become a beautiful butterfly. It stretches out its bright new wings in the warm sunshine. Then it flutters up into the wide blue sky. All kinds of pretty butterflies are flittering around the garden. There's a large lacy white one, two speckled blue ones, and one with circles on its wings. The butterfly flutters from flower to flower, sipping sweet nectar from every one. At night, it folds its dainty wings and settles down to sleep. When it's time, the butterfly carefully lays some eggs. See all the little eggs on the leaves? Each one is like a tiny pearl. A few days later, a stripy caterpillar pops out of each egg. They are all very hungry. Can you guess what happens next? Munch, 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 munch. And that was the butterfly.